Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia The Dark Descent. Last time we went down to... <coughs> sorry. Down to this chemistry lab place and... Found out uh, we need to make a compound to get past a certain fleshy substance, but some of the ingredients are being stored in the wine cellars. So we have to go over there. First I want to see if there's anything over here. There's this. And that's about it. <clears throat> so, uh, let's go find this wine cellar. And I'm sure there's nothing to be scared of down there. Absolutely nothing. So, <gasps> one thing I like about this game is that um, sometimes, like with things like that, like it involuntarily just turns your head and just scares you when things like that pop up. Creepy stuff. But uh, wherever that woman is, there's nothing we can do for her, sadly. Well, there's a wine cellar, but it is locked. So let's see where else we can go. Go up these stairs. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. And nothing. Oh, almost missed this. I can get the. There we go. The hand icon can be a bit touchy sometimes. Hmm. Well. Like we can go through right here. The archives. To be honest, even when I read these things, I still don't fully understand what story it's telling. Like, I played through this game before, I know what's going on. And I won't spoil anything for you, we'll just have to, you just have to figure it out as we go, but I still don't quite understand what exactly he's talking about. And we're going crazy, so let's turn this on. Maybe we can, okay, never mind. Hmm. What do we have here? 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Ooh, interesting. I think it's cool is that you'll find these pages scattered around and... Like, what's cool is, um, no matter what order you get them in, they will always be... You'll always read them in the correct order, like the first, the second, third. So even if I skip this one and went to the next one, it'd still be the same page. And if I went to this one after that one, it'd be the second page instead. So, I love how they do that. Makes everything... Bit, gives everything a bit more continuity. Nothing in here. We've got this guy. Yeah, if you watch uh, PewDiePie, he carries this thing around, calls him Stefano, which is pretty funny, but, um, well, I'm not PewDiePie, so goodbye. So, nothing to do in there. Let's 
check out this place. Light that up. Get that out of the way. There we go. And nothing in there. What's in here? Oh man, this game is. I'm trying to act all cool, but this game is still scaring me. Just the background noises. Like I'm wearing headphones right now, and that makes things like ten times worse. Huh. Like the first time I played this, I never noticed like the background ambiance as much, just because. I was wearing headphones like I am now, and it's just a lot more. Uh, anyway. 17th of May, 1839. My hand trembles as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it. And as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Ooh, cliffhanger. What's this thing? Oh, shoot. It exploded in my hands. That's. Get away from it. Oh, freaking. I'm sorry if I'm freaking out, guys. Seriously, this. Oh, and somebody's playing the piano out there now. It's perfect. No, nothing. Nothing inside you. Alright. Anyway. Anyway, I don't mind going a little bit crazy because, uh,. Like I said, going crazy can't actually kill you. It just makes things a bit harder. But I really want to conserve tinder boxes for now because you need them. Oh, okay, I'm gonna turn my light on now. Yeah, that's the that crackling sound in my ear phones just uh oh shoot. It's a little bit too much for me sometimes. But we go to a well lighted area like this. Well lit, well lighted. Oh there is something. Oh man. I'm starting to remember some of these parts and I am freaked out right now. I'm like not even joking. Let me check my. It is pounding, hands are shaking. Okay. And we're at. Ooh, 16 tinder boxes. I've got a lot. And some more oil. This is that piano. Too bad we can't play it. But this doesn't look too stable.
No, 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 no. Oh, freak. Yeah, we're blocking. That's lovely. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. You think? We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay, cool memory there. Let's get some more of this stuff. Ooh. Jackpot. Okay, who's playing that piano? Didn't I open this thing and now it's closed? Oh, great. Alright. Let's continue on. I'm gonna like this. Piano again. Yeah, I love how um, Lovecraftian this whole story is becoming. Just pretty cool. And we'll keep finding out more and more about this artifact, about um, what's chasing us, about this castle, about Alexander. Kind of like bits and pieces here and there. Alright, so let's see if we can get out of here. Well, it says it's not breakable by hand, but if you click it enough, I believe. Hmm. Oh, I think uh, the game was updated, so maybe they fixed a glitch, because usually if you click it enough, then it just finally breaks by hand, but that's not happening anymore, so let's take something hard. Swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. So, yeah, that's a clue to how to solve this next little puzzle. <laughs> so. Let's see, I'll just, um, let me see if I can, oh, I still have a lot of water left, but I'll still fill it up some more. Turn this on, and to solve the puzzle, pull the book that looks different, hurry up and look for the next one. <laughs> ah. There we go, and this should be the last one. 
There we go. Ooh, what's that? Well, of course, we can break stuff like that. Altstadt and Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Alstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The gathers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. They said the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods, and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from the beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Alstadt in the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of the society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a borough in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years ago. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? Um, just for future reference, remember this name. Agrippa. Remember that. The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brillenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Altstadt, and like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West for 300 years ago, led through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle, along with the great leaders of his country. Ooh, spooky. Alright, so apparently we are in Prussia. Fun stuff. And it's a locked door, but this is the door that was revealed. Nothing in there. Ooh, that's probably the key to the wine cellar. Yep. Ooh, Nikes. This. Regarding closing of the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Neither the king's men leave, or they will starve. Whatever comes first. They can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Note to self, do not drink the wine in the wine cellar. Alright. 
it's um I think that should do it for here. Anyways, now that we have the key to the wine cellar, I will end it off here. So what is in the wine cellar? What more will we discover about Daniel, Alexander, and Castle Rennenberg? And what is this mysterious orb that Daniel found in his travels to Algeria? Well, we'll find out some of that next time on Amnesia the Dark Descent. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.